Uh, the host Lena uh, is not here today, me and DJ. Um, you know, I'm Kev, you just have to go. I'm back in the building again to show some love to me. And I have a special guest in the building. No, before I even get to her, let me get a shout out to the DJ, DJ Cool KG. What's up, Cool KG? I'm chill, I'm good. All right. Going on, bro. play some tunes later? Oh, yeah. Gotta take care of you guys. You know how we do. So let me get to this amazing interview with this amazing producer. She's a brick producer. She's and a phenomenal woman, that's what she is. I can tell you that for a fact. Uh, she goes by the name of Basha Riddick. Hi, Kevin. How are you, sweetie? I'm good. I'm, good. I'm so happy and excited to be here. The yeah. big man show. Yes. Okay. On a Saturday afternoon, I'm excited. I'm excited. So, um, I haven't had a chance to interview you. I met you plenty of times. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, certainly that you were doing. Mm -hmm. I definitely know you. Uh, you have a... Uh, a book uh, conference? It's called? artists and authors. Authors and artists. Okay. This is the eighth annual year. We're going to be coming up in 218. New beginning. So shout out to everybody. Um, it's about leveraging everything 2018. Okay. And I really want to thank again, Big Man, for inviting me to this show today. And Kevin, for you being here and the rest of the crew and staff. Thank you so much for having me because I think it's really important that we're going into 218 and we got to go into 218 with some action, okay, and leverage what we have. So, yes, we have the up-and-coming I Love to Read Multicultural Book Fair coming, and um, it's going to be in May. Now, I was going to have it for Black History Month because that's when it started, right, uh, eight, uh, eight, eight or nine years ago because I didn't have it last year. But it's, eight, it's the eighth annual, and it's at Brown Memorial Church right here in Brooklyn. Okay, okay now, with Clinton Miller, Pastor Clinton Miller, love him, okay? And I get up at 8 o'clock in the morning to go to that church. When I'm ready to go, I go there on Sundays. And um, he was kind enough to open the doors for me because his church is huge, okay? And last year we packed it and we had a film, we had a filmmaker that had a new film out called Restore Me. I'm going to have another filmmaker there this year. We have authors, artists, vendors. You know, and we're going to really empower the community because, you know, I have the Bosharitic Empowerment Show. And I keep telling people, always talk about you look like Wendy Williams. I said, no, Wendy Williams look like me. I'm older than Wendy, Wendy Williams. And it's not about calling females donkeys. It's about lifting your sisters and your brothers up. Okay. So it's about empowerment. That's what we're doing around here. Okay. So, you know, this is the great thing about being independent producers is that we put let our voices be heard the way they need to be heard. The way we choose to let our voices be heard. We don't need nobody to represent us. We Brooklyn. And we Brooklyn and we, we representing ourselves, okay? Or all around the tri-state area, you know? So, yes, we have that coming up, you know, and I'm excited, you know, about it. And I want all the authors and artists to register. Um, authors, I mean, artists, I let come perform free, the the artists, because I think that the artist, you know, doesn't get a chance to be exposed as much. The authors have written books, you know what I mean? They have written books, and I give them an opportunity to promote their books, to tell us what motivated them to write their books. And I know that lives can be transformed through books just like it can through music, through music, okay? Music is so powerful, you know, and we want that to be shine. We want to show them off, how do you say, um, showcase them at the book fair. Authors, artists, authors, artists. But the artist gets an opportunity to sing one of his favorite songs to us, tell us what motivated him. But the authors, um, there is a fee for the authors, but it's free to the public to to actually come in and see the authors uh, talk about the excerpts, read excerpts from their books, you know. Yeah. So how long have you been doing the Boxer uh, Eleven years I've been here at Brick Arts Media, yeah. I was here when it was BCAP, now it's Brick Arts Media. 
And um, there's so many new producers in here, and we're excited to have them. But I'm excited that we've stayed so long. I know the big man show has been around for a while, you know, four years, and he's doing big things, and he's given a lot of opportunity to a lot of artists and fashion designers. We don't want to forget our fashion designers because they need to be uh, showcased as well, you know. Um, and we also want to shout out, and we hope that wherever the, the young men that are in prison or institutions or hospitals, we want to big them up too because a lot of our brothers and sisters are being left behind. You understand? So um, I'm also a chaplain, okay? And that means that I'm just there for the people to help them. And I have a lot of resources. I was a social worker for 30 years. And the resources that I have, I want to share it with the people that need it so they can reach me at 917-586-2566 or they can reach the Big Man Show. Kevin, you're going to let them know. Big Man's going to let them know. And go to our Facebook pages, Bosch Riddick Empowerment Show, the Big Man Show, and reach out to us because we're here to help you. You know, we are in the community. We're about lifting each other up, you know. So if you have questions and you want to know more about not only this show or Bosch or so, Check out our YouTube page, the new and improved community uh, TV show page. Mm -hmm. Write in the comments and post a comment and definitely we'll reach back out to you and um, give you more information. Um, yeah, so what else do you have planned for the Well, I plan on going to get the, the money that there's money out there for grants. Like I just got a grant. Um, last year I put in a grant in February. I got it in May. And I did a wonderful, I just had a party Thursday night. Uh, I did a 12-week writer's workshop in Ebbets Field, okay? Uh, every Thursday night, it was Pathways to Love and Healing. That's the name of my production company, Pathways to Love and Healing. There's many ways to love and heal, okay? And we did this writer's workshop. It was really good. Um, I had some young artists come in, and they did spoken word about it, you know? Um, gives them an opportunity to be in a safe environment. They could talk about the way they feel, because a lot of people are walking around with a lot of hurt and a lot of anger, and then it turns into rage. So we want to decrease the violence in our community. And writing is one of the worst ways to do it. Spoken word is one of the ways to do it. So we're looking forward to the Writers Workshop in 218 on Thursday nights. Pathways to Love and Healing. You know, Writers Workshop. And I want to let everybody know to go to Citizens Committee of New York and look for their grants. Because you don't have to have a non-for-profit to get some of that um, the funding that they have. Okay, but you just have to meet the requirements. And we all know people with non-for-profits. So you can partner up, collaborate with your brothers and your sisters, collaborate, and it'll be bigger and better. And I had, um, I'm going to give a shout out to my, my, my dude, Mel Blackman, who was kind enough to partner with me with the Burning House Project, which is a non-for-profit. And I wrote the proposal, and he's my conduit, and I put it right through him. We were able to get that money, and we were able to, um, give the resources to the community, okay, and give them gifts. And we did a pre-Kwanzaa celebration because it's not about Christmas to me. It's not about going and spending our dollars in all these stores making everybody else rich. You understand? We are the biggest consumers in the black community is African-American people. So we spent the money in our community. We have entrepreneurs that have good merchandise that are doing creative things. You're making things with their own hands. We have music. We have all kinds of creativity in our community. And it's about Kwanzaa. It's about uniting. Um, you know, it's about um, using our resources and uniting as a people, you know. And I just, that's, that's my main thing, is I just want to tell people, like, look, you know, cut, cut the nonsense out. There's no time for the fighting and the shooting and all of that. Stop the violence. Um, love your children. Stay out of the courts. Because this is the thing I want to shout out to. Because there's too many young black women and men in the courts, in the family courts. Let me tell you something. The family courts don't care about you or your children or your man. So all it is about going to these courts and, and doing getting child support and all that, if a man don't want to give you money, young women, he ain't going to give it to you, whether you take him to court or not. You understand? Stay out the courts. Resolve your issues. Sit down at the kitchen table and resolve your issues. Because to me, it's like, why would you want to have a baby from a man that you got to hate? You understand? That's your father's child. That's your mother's. He's, you're the mother of his child. So work together. That's what I want to tell young people. Work together. Young adults, young children. And if you ain't ready to have children, then keep it in your pants or close your legs. You understand? Or use a condom. But, and, I'm not in, and I'm not encouraging illicit sex. But look, you know, children, they, they're responsibility. 
But them, them courts and them white folks in that courts don't care nothing about you or your children or your man or you. So stay out the court system. You understand? Come home, sit down. There's nothing that can't be talked and communicated about or written about. Write it. Write a song. Write a book. Write something. Do something with yourself. But stay out them courts because they don't care nothing about you. It's, it's foolish. It's just foolish. You know, um, I lost my sister-in-law yesterday. Um, she had a stroke. She had an aneurysm because of the stress. We got to lower ourselves on the stress. We got to watch what we eat. You know, we got to take care of ourselves because if we don't take care of ourselves, nobody else will. That's my thing, empowerment. Empower yourself and you can empower others. So I'm just excited about the whole darn thing. 2018 is going to be popping. I'm looking for the new music to drop. I'm looking for the wonderful creative fashion. I'm looking for the writers, the authors to write. I'm looking for the artists to produce that music. And I'm looking for more from the big man show. Oh, I, I think I covered everything right then, right? Because, you know, I, um, it's easy. It comes easy for me now because it's been 11 years that I've been having the Basha Riddick Empowerment Show and doing this work. Um, they killed Eleanor Bumpers about 11 years ago up in Harlem. They shot and killed his grandmother. And so many people and African-American people have been killed since then. So it's easy for me to talk about us sticking together and empowering ourselves because we know that a lot of people are not going to do that for us. We're the most hated people. People are African-American people, so we have to love on each other more, more. So it's about love, and it's about healing, and um, that's why I'm here today. It's all about love. I've met some brothers here. I can't wait to see them perform and to see them come in and be interviewed by you. I know these men, and we've worked together. So thank you so much for having me. Yeah. If my show is on. Now, you got to remember, we're Brick Arts Media, so we're on Optimum Cable. We're on Spectrum, that used to be Time Warner. We're on a Fuchsia, and we're on Verizon. That's four networks, y'all. So you got to look out for us. Look out for the Big Man Show, because he's on four networks. Look out for the Basha Riddick Empowerment Show. You know, just hit us up on, go to BashaRiddick.com. Go to Facebook, Basha Riddick. Go to the Big Man Show. Just go to Facebook. All our information is there. You never know when we coming at you, but we coming at you, okay? Media is so important, and we're there to help you. Just not to show you up, but to help you in any way we can. We love you. Peace, love, and empowerment. I want to thank you again to Basha for coming through. Um, and we have another guest coming up. We're about to watch another amazing video from one of the Indian artists. It's one like young low. Uh, one of the track. Be back after this. Thank you so much. No, let me know. I ain't with the games. I'm done with all the pain. And I don't want to go down this road again. If you cheating, then just say the word I don't need my feelings hurt Somehow I feel like you changed And I don't want to feel that pain Previous relation What's up? Welcome back to VME <clears throat> Y'all know I'm DJ Kev the God I have two amazing um, people here one is the administrat administrative assistant for BME. Um, the other one's a model uh, for BME Angels. Uh, Flo and Kiki, welcome to the show again. Hello. Pick up your mic. Let's talk. <laughs> so it's been a minute since I've seen y'all. Um, I see what y'all post on social media all the time. And just that I have no time. I can't say, hey, what's up? I got to start changing that again for the new year. I mean, we're supposed to be a family. I got to stop being, um, what you call that, the stranger. So what's going on with y'all? Well, I have a new uh, clothing line come out called Beyond K. And okay. I make shirts, um, hoodies, hats, you know, accessories. Okay. So I see you got yours yeah. on. Loving this, the colors. Uh, this she made for Pride mm -hmm. with all the colors, you know, the Pride flag. You know, because it is an LGBT founded company. So What's up? to start it off with, uh, these were the original shirts that she came out with. And now she making hoodies and some more shirts. That's what's up. So what do you see this company in the next few years? Um, I'm trying to go, well, not worldwide, but like different states or at least. You want to go worldwide. Always, yeah. always go for that. Or just say local states worldwide. Mm -hmm. You want this to be known like um, Sean John. Oh, that's what you want it to be, and that's 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 a a great place for it to be. Um, and definitely when when I get a chance, I'm definitely want me um, a shirt just like this, all rainbow, not just half rainbow. 
because you know I support LGBTQ all day, every day. But it's 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 so amazing that y'all are really doing that. Um, I can't wait for y'all to be alongside B and Me when they do their fashion show for 2018. Uh, Little Birdie told me that one. I ain't going to tell you who told me. But mm -hmm. I heard you're having a fashion show for the new year. Mm -hmm. um, and y'all be one of the, the people a part of the fashion show. It's going to be dope. I, I want to see some some dresses with y'all logo on. Yeah, and it's going to be dope. Um, a neon thing, like a black light thing. That's okay. So what made you decide to do this? Um, I always loved fashion. Ever since I was little, Like I just love fashion. I was like, I want to make my own clothes one day and stuff like that. So the name, where did you get the name from? Well, K apparently is me and Beyond is like the futuristic side, like into the future. So Beyond K. Mm -hmm. Okay. So would you, if there's a celebrity out there that you might want to dress up, which celebrity would you want to dress up? Um, Young young M.A. Mm. You hear that, Young M.A.? They want you um, where they line. Make sure you um, check them out. <laughs> Definitely check them out because it'll be a dope uh, opportunity right there. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, so where where you going with your your modeling career? Are you still doing photo shoots and stuff like that? Um, here and there, but I'm really focusing on my brand. Okay. All right. That's what's up. Uh, Flo, what's going on with you? Nothing much. Just helping her with her brand. Um. We spend all our time and our money focusing on her brand. So I hope to see it grow in the future. Yeah. That's a good thing that the partner of the relationship is there to support the other partner when they decide to come out with a project. And that is so amazing because you don't get that out here. Um, let's see one of your um, actual um, designs that you have. So this is the back of it. That's dope. Really, really dope. 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 Okay. Um, you can follow us on social media. Um, Instagram at Beyond K. Um, Facebook at Beyond K. Make sure you K. spell it out for them so they can know exactly. Um, it's B E Y O N D K A Y E Beyond K. Okay. So, like, besides social media, that's what you have right now. Yeah, it's social media. Okay, so you um, don't I'm have... Working on, I'm working on the website. Um, that's why I did a photo shoot today. Okay. Who's on your website for you? Huh? Who's on your website? Um, I am. Are you good at that? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what's up. Make sure you go to use Big Cartel or one of them as your your base. Okay. Connect to your website. That's what I did uh, with my stuff. Okay. So my shirt line isn't dropping until February 2018. So I don't want to talk about it right now. But it's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. So anything else y'all want to say? Love you and me, family. Glad that they support us 100%. Yes. Shout out to Young Lo, who's in the, in the yep. cut over there. Yep. Who's been okay. holding us down for a minute, mm -hmm. you know. So, uh, anything else I got to say before we um, go? Nope. Right. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah, course. thank you. Thank Thanks. you. So, I want to say thank you to um, Kiki and Flo for definitely coming through, blazing the BME family. Like, we're family right here. And, I mean, it's happy to be back. For the beginning, when we first started together, when you, when Kiki was co-hosting with me in the beginning. Yeah. Remember those days? I miss those days. We got to bring that back. It's a little yeah. special. Um, shout out to the BME family, especially shout out to Big Man himself, Quasi Edge, the CEO of BME. Shout out to Elaine Payne, the COO. Uh, Miss Coco, the CMO. Shout out to the president, who is the, currently the host of this show, um, Miss DDJ, a.k.a. Selena Ward, uh, the Vice President, Robin Danzi. Shout out to Flo, who is the Administrative Assistant for BME. Um, I can't forget our music producer, DJ Cool KG, who is the, the DJ of this show. Um, and I want to say thank y'all. Happy holidays. And we'll definitely we'll see y'all back here in the new year every Monday, 2 p.m., 10 p.m. Check your local listings for the show. I'm DJ Cool. I'm DJ Cool Cam. You see, you see, cool it's all in, it's all in the flow right now. So I'm DJ Cool. Um, cool I keep saying that. DJ Cam, the guy, and we see y'all next year again. Peace. I'm very iffy. All these drugs up in my system got me dizzy. I'm paranoid. I keep my hand up on my glizzy. Damn, it been getting crazy in my city. Niggas out there with some rules, moving iffy. All these drugs up in my system got me dizzy. I'm paranoid. I keep my hand up on my glizzy. Damn.
And my system got me so faded Told mama fuck school already graduated And these streets yeah I was broke Yeah I couldn't take it Move them plaques and sh- work I started get it Payments damn Everybody doubted Everybody really hated them Everybody dissing Niggas said I wouldn't make it Damn I pull up Take your I just they should take them damn I pull up Take your bitch She told me I'm persuasive Damn you ain't believe me. Yeah, I'm, welcome, I'm welcome back. Um, I had to bring a special guest out. This gentleman been in the music industry since the 90s. Uh, Al Scratch. Dope artist. I heard his music a few years ago. And my pops had told me to come bring him on the show and interview him. So this is Al Scratch. What's going on, Al? Thank you for having me, man. Of course. You know what I'm Thank you for having me. Appreciate yes. it. So let's talk about your music. How long have you been in the game? Uh, uh, honestly, they call it the golden era. Um, coming out of New York, like in 93, 94, me and my partner, L, we had a group called Ill Out Scratch. Mm-hmm. Uh, first song we made was, uh, Where My Homies. That got us, uh, some success in the, in the area in New York and didn't hit the radio. So, uh, because of shows like this, we were able to get some exposure right. on public access TV. Right. So it's very vital mm-hmm. and crucial that, you know, you keep doing what you're doing and, and allow the outlet for other artists to come up here and display their talents. So, right. Okay. So I usually ask this question to all artists. Most of my artists knows my question. Who's in your playlist? Who you listen to every day? Every day? Uh, right now I got that uh, Freddie Jason going on with Kiss uh-huh. and um, and Fab. Uh, okay. But I listen to everything, you know. Uh, just growing up in a household where music was the foundation for your life. Right. Stevie Wonder. I mean, Mariah Carey. The list goes on. Michael Jackson. I listen to everybody. What's up? You know, give me a top five, five artists of all time. No matter what genre of music, just a top five. Top five artists of all time. Well, Michael Jackson would definitely have to be in there. Okay. You know, not only because I worked with him and have a a, mm. a song with him, but uh, I looked up to him as a youngster. But he was a great uh, talent dancer. Right. Um, Stevie Wonder. Um. I mean, there's so many of them, you know, to just shrink it down to five is very difficult, you know? I mean, a lot of artists say the same thing when I ask them that question. It's kind of hard to say. So, um, can you give some of these young artists out here some encouraging words about music so they can understand when they get to your age, they know how to feel? Um, Only thing I could say to them, you know, what, what I've been hearing so far sounds really good. A lot of skill and talent out there, you know, and I think that The creative aspect has to remain in the forefront for for all of the artists that's out there that's listening and never give up on your dreams you know don't don't really listen to the negativity that's out there always stay in tune with that positive thought that's in your brain that made you either you know hit that instrument or take that pen to the paper follow your lead you know don't follow anybody else's lead because you deep down inside your heart you know what it is you want to do and you know what it is you can do i mean i'm a living testament you know, a guy just writing, you know, bars in his room to having songs on the radio and right. working with different producers and even Michael Jackson and, and other artists like Biggie. I mean, you never know what could happen. Right. And everybody's listening. Nowadays, it's, it's a lot easier. I won't say easier, but it's more accessible. The music is way more accessible than it was years ago. So right. never stop pushing forward. That's that's what I would tell them. Never stop pushing forward. Okay. That's what's up. Um, what else? Any upcoming projects you have going on right now? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm just having fun right now. I am working on some music loosely, just, you know, uh, in and out of the studio right now. I'm on a web series called Project Heat, okay. YouTube web series, so I'm doing a little bit of acting. But I am, uh, you know, music is my passion, right. so I, I'm always in the studio. You know, just because people haven't seen me doesn't mean that I wasn't working on music. I've actually always been working on music, mm-hmm. and uh, depending on, upon what the... Uh, what the audience out there is dictating, I may release something, you know, but that's going right. to be based on whether or not the people want it. Because I have things for me that I, I love to listen to that I've recorded myself. Right. But if, if the demand is out there, I will be mm-hmm. releasing some music. Right. You know? So you said Project Key, one of the dopest web series that's right besides uh, Money and Violence. Um, okay. Project Heat. KD Short Films. Yeah. Salute to all my people out there, Pink you know, houses. watching it. Yes. How did you fall into that? Uh, it's a funny story, uh, because I was in, uh, I was in Milk River and Hollywood J, one of the actors from the show had walked in and, uh, he was telling me about a role that they were looking for. Okay. 
And uh, I guess he said the energy that I had, just the, the spirit that I had, he said that that was something he saw that could fit onto uh, the show. And he brought it to the director's attention. Right. And I was actually on my way out of the country, and I called him on the phone. Uh, unbeknownst to me, he was actually interviewing me on the phone. Usually wow. when you go in for acting role, you sit down and they want to see how you look. But he was judging my voice and the yeah. attitude and how I was pronouncing my words and things of that nature. So that's actually how I got the role on, on Project yeah. Heat. So what character are you playing? Because I haven't watched it in like the last four or five episodes. Uh, it's it's a role of a, a positive influence, as you know uh, or may not know. Project Heat is is based upon some stories that are taking place out of pink houses, which is one of the most notorious uh, projects in Brooklyn. And uh, my guy uh, Hollywood J, he's kind of like a hothead. Mm. You know, he's getting money. He's got people in the street, but. You know, as you grow up and you and you get older, you get wiser. And yeah. sometimes you need guidance. So I'm kind of like that voice of guidance mm -hmm. for Hollywood J. Right. They wanted to bring that aspect into it because it's not just about, you know, the guns or drugs or people scheming and shooting. They want to add that element to it. And right. uh, it's getting a lot of looks from other networks. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of deals on the table. And um, I think that's a component that actually helps broaden the show. Okay. That's what's up. Um, anything else you want, might want to say to the artists? Um, you know, I, I applaud y'all. Keep doing what you do. You inspire me. And even though you might not hear from other artists out there, you know, because your music may sound different from what they're used to, you, you influence everybody. We all influence each other. It's just that, you know, some people have too much pride to verbalize that and say it with their tongue. But, you know, music is the language of all languages. And it speaks to people. You know, when you have people enjoying music that don't even understand the language you're speaking, that lets you know that what you're doing is something positive and constructive. You know, when you have people that come home, let's say from a situation in jail or in a gang, and they tell you, you know, your song helped me make the right decision. That's stuff that you can't really put that into words. You know what I'm saying? Because when you write in what it is you write, and you don't know how it might impact somebody else. Mm -hmm. So always be mindful of the fact that even though you're writing what it is you're writing or playing the keys and the notes that you're playing, you're going to be able to touch people that you don't even think you're touching. Right. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank yeah. So I want to say thank you for coming on Being Me and collaboration with Kev's View. Um, definitely want to bring you back. I was going to say, is, 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 it, is it all right if I come back of once course. I get some music and, and, and do it? I mean, is that all right with y'all if I come back and perform some once I get it together? Yeah, definitely. You know? But uh, if y'all want to follow me, I'm on the Instagram. It's Al Scratch, A-L-S-K-R-A-T-C-H, Snapchat, everything Al Scratch, SoundCloud, AlScratch.com. You know, I appreciate y'all. Thank you for having me. Thank you. All right. So we're about to continue this uh, showpiece, and I have a few more artists to go through. We'll be back after this.